Hi everyone, this is Diane. Welcome to my channel once again. I went to the flea market this morning and found some pretty unique items. And first thing I want to show you are these, which have nothing to do with junk journals. But I found this whole bunch of really old hand mirrors that are beautiful. They're in kind of rough shape and I'm going to try to clean them up. I'm not going to flip them over because of the reflection, but I just, this is the best part to look at anyway. And this man, I call him the white van man, he was selling them for a dollar each. I love this pink one. Kind of feels like a vinyl. This one I need to do something to. I obviously had a decorative something right there that came off so I'm going to cover that with something but look at that I love the size of it it's the little one and I thought this was beautiful it shifted it's I'll have to take it out and clean it and re, re adhere it and this one and then I went to the next booth, and there was a lady there that commented. I had these in my hand. I hadn't put them in my bag yet. She commented on the mirrors that I found, and she went to her van, and she said, I have one that I didn't get out yet. So she asked me how much I paid for these, and I told her a dollar each. And she has six on this one. But this one is in much better condition, and it's got a plastic cover on it, which I can take off when I'm ready to do something with it. But she said, oh, well, the best I can do is five. And I thought about it, and I thought I would have six of these beautiful mirrors for $11, and that was a good deal for me. So I took it for for $5, I mean, or $10. Wait a minute, one, two, three, four, five, six mirrors for $10. Yes, that's how it was, because I gave her $5 for this. But this is really pretty. It looks like there's a fabric. This is backed with a fabric. So I was thinking I would arrange them on a wall. I said in my bedroom and she suggested my bathroom and I was thinking, well, yeah, I, I need something in my bathroom. So I'm gonna figure out how to hang these in an arrangement in my bathroom. Tell me what you think of those. But I did get some unusual items also for scrapbooking or um, junk journals. First of all, I'll show you the the things that I get quite often. So I got a whole bunch of stamps again, and it was not from the same vendor. Last time I got my, uh, on Memorial Day, I got a bunch of stamps from the, the white van man where I got those mirrors, but this was from someone else. And there's quite a few, there's green ones and the blue, and then this book, which has the same kind of blue stamps, but I've never seen that cover before. Stop, save, stamp. So I've got a whole bunch of those, so watch for them to show up in my shop. But what was un unusual is it came with this catalog. I've never had the catalog. It's not the green stamp catalog. I would love to see one of those because that's what we used, the green stamps. This looks like it's from the 70s. I don't know how long they did the stamps. But I'll have fun looking at this and then I can use it in my journals. I don't see a year, but the styling looks like it's from the 70s. And then I got this book and it's warped a little bit, a little bit, but it's Shirley Temple's Fairyland, and it has Sleeping Beauty, Beauty and the Beast, Rumpelstiltskin, and the Wild Swans. So I got this along with some vintage ephemera, antique ephemera, actually, and he charged me. Um, five dollars for all of it. So this book along with these pieces 
This is from 1913. It has the date on it. And it's a coffee coffee advertisement, but it is a ink blotter. And I love this lady here. Sylvia, it says. And then this from 1910, Cortland County Agricultural Society Annual Fair, Public School Day, August 24th. Fanny Hurlbert. So this is Olive Hurlbert. It's just a card to get in, I guess. This old postcard, no, just a photo. And then these, they are advertisements for Singer Sewing Machines, and they are the American Singer series of birds, songbirds. There's a mockingbird a wood thrush, and it has the stamp from the Singer Sewing Machine Company, DeRoyter, New York. Must be the dealer that sold them. Orchard Oreo. And these are dated 1898. And a bobolink. So, $5 for all of that was pretty good. I picked up these I had to actually go back because I saw them on the man's table, but he was nowhere in sight. The, the vendors do wander. They'll leave their table and go look and see what else is there or go get something to eat from the vendor truck or the food truck or go visit the, the porta potty thing. I don't know, but he wasn't there. And I remembered to go back and he was there. And so these are envelopes that contained pills. Burmac for relief of pains due to headache and neuralgia. Also effective for the relief of muscular aches and pains and head colds. See other side for directions. They're unused so they're in really good condition. 25 cent size contains one dozen tablets packed in a tin. So I think there's eight of them here. And I found this book, The Circus, and I really love the pictures. It's the Circus from 1870s to 1950s. Look at that. That is awesome right there. This book, <coughs> it's not old. The uh, foreword was written in 2008. And they have a foreword in German and French. It's the same foreword, it's just because it's written by the same person, but it's translated. These pictures are so cool. I didn't look at it very much. I looked at it enough to know that I wanted it. Something wicked this way comes. And he only charged me $3 for it. And there's a lot in here. They are glossy pages. There's photographs and then the old circus posters. So I think this will be really fun to use. <laughs> I'm trying to, there's a lot of different languages here. I was trying to read about this guy. Page 786. I'm not seeing it, so. I guess I'll look at it later. Really cool, really cool book. A gee whiz spectacle of a book, a three ring, three ring extravaganza as bright as a pinball machine. It's a New York Times review. And then I found these. It's 
spotless frozen food carton. And I could make a journal out of that. And there are two of them. And they were two fifty each. It was three for one or five dollars if you bought if I bought both, which I did. And I got a really good deal on these old aprons. This one is a calico print in a pretty bright yellow with this pocket trimmed out in lace and it doesn't look like it was used. I don't know how old it is. It looks old fashioned, but I don't know. The fabric doesn't appear super old, but I don't know. It's just in good condi condition because it wasn't used. And I got this one. It's a little one. It's got a pocket there and some kind of fancy rickrack trim. I like the black gingham. And this one looks very clean too. I'm going to wash them because they smell a little musty, but as far as staining goes, those two were great. There wasn't there weren't any stains. This one is a thinner fabric and may have been used, but I don't see stains. Usually aprons that were used are pretty stained. So I don't see a single stain on this. It's got a little rickrack at the bottom. A little kind of ruffly thing there. And one pocket. And the ties. And this floral one. It's making my throat itch. I didn't take an allergy pill today. This one has rickrack all the way around. And rickrack across the yoke part and around the pocket. And this was homemade. Probably they all were. And one last one. Is this polka dot one? Yeah, these are not stained. And the last thing is this box of little toys. So I thought we would go through this together. Remember my little trinket jar that I bought? A couple weeks ago? Well, look at these. There's a little girl jumping rope and a little clock. So these can hang off a tab or the spine of a journal. A squirrel. He looks metal, but I think he's plastic. This is a flattened penny, and it has the Lord's Prayer on it. <clears throat> and what is this? Looks like some kind of a Tibetan God or something. I don't want that. And a little bulldog. Well, it looks like a wishbone, but it's a, a Native American. And a really cheap ring. This, this looks old. It's got a glass bead inside. This is a cheap plastic that looks metal candle. And, oh, these grapes, they look old. That's cool. And a yellow bulldog, just like the white one. This is heavy. This is just, it's Romulus and Remus. The wolves of Rome. It says Rome here and the twin wolves are suckling. If anybody wants that let me know. I don't. Oh, let's see. This is a dog in a cage it looks like. There's another bulldog. A blue one. Who's in the bulldogs? There's some bells. The little loop on top broke off. Mm, 
Cricket, maybe. It's got some bats and a ball. <laughs> That's a noisemaker. That would have been annoying. There's a Buddha. And an elephant. It looks like a replica of, I don't know, a bullet or something. Another bulldog, a green one. So we have four colors of bulldogs now. Oh, I like this. It looks like an old-fashioned cookie cutter. In fact, I think my mother had one of those, that shape. I'm just going to dump these out because I put them on paper. It's a little hard to get them out of the box. This looks like a harmonica, and I don't know what that is. I think you're, you're supposed to be able to have something that would turn the numbers, but I don't know if something broke off it. This is a plastic coin, Ransom Randy Jackson, Chicago Com Cubs. Christopher, St. Christopher, protect us. I like the ball chain. That looks like a bowling ball, but it got a little bit squished. There's a watering can. And a, la a ladder. I wonder why there is a pearl on the ladder. I don't understand that. A horseshoe that says lucky and it has a star. A megaphone, that's really cool. It has someone's initials. wonder if this was on a charm bracelet. A little bunny, I love that. A license plate. A fireman's hat. A pin with a Scotsman on it. There's another horse cookie cutter and a duck oh I love it oh he is adorable uh, this is a lady's watch uh, snail I guess looks like a turtle head sticking out of it some kind of a washer it's a token a cowboy hat with a ball chain and a hat. This is heavy. A hat without a chain, but it does have a hole. And this probably went together. I wonder what was in it. There's another elephant. That's just a toy elephant. It doesn't have a loop for hanging. There's a stagecoach. And a lady. And a green soldier. And some more bells. These do have the loops on them. This is a ukulele. And another ring. Another token. Another Lord, Lord's Prayer. And this looks like it's supposed to be a 45 record. There's a little doll. A skull. I don't know what that is. A pistol in a holster. A screwdriver. An axe and a pair of scissors. That was quite an eclectic bunch. So I don't want this and this and this. If anybody is interested in those, can let me know. I'm, or I'm just going to put a bundle of stuff together that I don't want. 
Don't need that. I have nothing against the Lord's Prayer, of course, but I just don't think I'll use it. I do want to keep this ball chain because it's vintage. But I don't need the St. Christopher medal. So that right there is what I'm getting rid of. So, if anybody wants this all in a bundle, let me know. Okay, so that's what I got today. I thought it was fun. Uh, I think this was the first thing I picked up. And it was from a different vendor than the, the person I got the jar from. So anyway, yeah, that was fun. And I found some unique items. And I hope you enjoyed looking at them. I will see you in the next video. And I hope you're having a creative day today. Bye-bye.